structure and matter will focus on atoms and ions and uh, different kinds of bonds and differences between elements uh, and compounds and so those are the kind of things we'll need to know so let's take a look at some of uh, some of the ideas here um, atoms are the smallest unit of matter every atom has a nucleus and one or more electrons bound to the nucleus the nucleus is made of one or more protons and typically has a similar number of neutrons The number of protons in the nucleus defines what chemical element the atom belongs to. For example, all copper atoms contain exactly 29 protons. The number of neutrons defines the isotope of the element. Or, uh, I must remember here, there must be equal number of protons and electrons in an atom. Atoms that lose or gain an electron are called ions. If an electron is lost, it's a positive ion. If an electron is gained, then it would be called a negative ion. So it's kind of almost like opposite of what you might expect. Um, if two atoms share an electron electrically, it is called a covalent bond. In ionic bonding, Ions with opposite charges hold the atoms together. As far as compounds and elements are concerned, uh, you need to know that elements cannot be broken down into simpler substances. Uh, so examples would be like hydrogen or oxygen. But, compa but compounds such as water, H2O, can be broken down into uh, simpler elements.